Ashley Madison is a website that advertises life is short, have an affair. Recently, it was hacked, exposing 37 million adulterous email addresses to the world. The saddest username, who's your daddy 69? The saddest password, love hurts. Only three zip codes in the entire United States had no Ashley Madison accounts. So did everyone get the affair of their dreams? Well, the hack revealed that an overwhelming 86% of users were male, 31 million men to 5.5 million women. But Gizmodo discovered that 70,000 of those women were actually fake accounts, created and operated by Ashley Madison. They sent 20 million messages to men and engaged 11 million male users in chats, because if men thought they were getting somewhere with a woman, they'd keep paying to use the site. Where are the cheating women if they're not on Ashley Madison? Maybe Tinder. 30% of users are married, and nearly 40% of them are female. But back to the hack. Thoughtfully looking after user privacy, Ashley Madison offered a full account deletion service for only $19. In 2014 alone, Ashley Madison netted 1.7 million in revenue from this full delete promise. But a total of 185,946 email addresses found in the hack were listed as paid delete. So, uh, they were still on Ashley Madison's servers and didn't really get deleted. People are pissed and feeling exposed. The whole mess has revealed an interesting side of modern relationships, namely that a lot of married people aren't as satisfied as they seem. Yet among millennials, 88% of women and 77% of men think that flirting online is cheating. And unsurprisingly, a third of divorces in recent years name online cheating as a culprit. So it's not like people are okay with it, even if they are doing it all the time. So what do you think? Is it cheating to sign up for Ashley Madison, even if you never actually meet up with someone? And if you were one of the unlucky users exposed in the hack, well, maybe next time don't use your actual email address.